Hey guys, so in today's video, we'll be learning about how you can use the update feature of uh, Google Business Profile Growth Manager tool. Yes, guys, you have already created your profile or you have uh, added your already created listing of Google My Business or Google Business Profile in this tool. But now if you want to edit some information, how you can do that, that we'll be discussing in this video, which is very, very easy. And the best part is the location map and it's really easy uh, to change your location uh, through this tool as compared to Google business uh, profile uh, interface. So guys, let's begin. So as you can see, we are in our tool which we have already seen and here there is an option of info as you can see. So it's super simple. I will give you a few tips to uh, so that you can actually optimize your profile in a better way. So guys, this is the name of your business like you can see here and this is a pencil icon. Uh, clicking on this, you can actually change this very easily. Similarly, you have categories and subcategories. Uh, there is a primary category and there can be secondary categories. So in total, you can add up to 10 categories which are relevant to your business type. It may happen that you add certain category and Google might remove it because Google uh, reviews it and if they don't find it suitable according to your other categories and your description and your business, then they definitely they'll remove that. But you can add up to 10 category and subcategories. Now comes the address guys. Address uh, you can change but if you change the address uh, absolutely different then definitely you will uh, have to do a postcard verification again. Uh, mostly if you change your postal code then this will happen and if your address is actually relocating to a far off place even in the same postal code then also they can ask for postal verification to so be very careful about changing your address. Then comes the timings. You can change the timings here. You can add service areas. That is more locations where you are providing services in your own city. Then there is a number. If you don't, if you have not added your mobile number, then you can add your mobile number here. You can add your website URL and there is a description part which we have discussed in our earlier video. Uh, when you are creating your profile, you can add description by here. You can change your description. You can modify your description. Then there is opening date. And finally, there is a shop code, which is optional. You can keep it. If you don't want, you can leave it. Then guys, you can even mark your location as temporary close. Like and in COVID times, a lot of people, they were not working. They were not actually operating their business. So they marked it as temporary close. If you are planning permanently close your business, then you can click here and uh, mark it as permanently close. So guys, this was all in this update section and I, I think it's really, really uh, easy and it is useful also. And guys, one more thing I would like to add here that uh, when you get automatic updates from Google, that happens because few users who are visiting your profile, they give certain suggestions. In that case, in the Google interface, you have to accept all those suggestions. But here, uh, it's easy. You can accept any one suggestion uh, you want. If you don't want other suggestions to be accepted, you can leave that. So that is a difference which we have created in this profile. And I hope this will be really useful for you. Thanks for watching this video.